Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me on a bit of an adventure. I had no idea where I wanted to go. I just wanted to go somewhere. And I took a drive and as I was looking at the maps, I spotted a body of water. And I've come to this body of water. It's a reservoir in North Cork, close to Fermoy. And I'd never been here before. I never knew it even existed. But when I arrived, I took a walk around the shore and I've come around probably around two thirds of the way around the water, trying to find an area where I can get down close to the edge. And I came here because I wanted to see number one, what kind of shots I could get. But number two, there's some very, very dark clouds on the horizon and in the sky today. So I think it will give me some nice ominous shots. But what I wanted to do here by coming close to the water as well is to do some long exposures. So I had the camera set up here to do a 30 second exposure. And what that does is it smooths out completely the water that's in front of me. And also as well, when the sun comes out, it's around 90 degrees actually to my left. So it's perfectly positioned for me to use my polarizer. And what that will do is it'll take any of the glare that's on the water off also. Now below me here, there's some uh, rocks that are below in the mud and when the light is shining on those they really do jump within the frame So I turned my polarizer to enable me to be able to see those within the frame I'm going for a 30 second exposure and I'm going for as long as I can get it at the moment I'm using a 10 stop uh, filter and what that's going to do for me I think is going to give me a nice clean smooth image with no movement whatsoever on the water I've also gone for a 24 mil shot because on either side of me here you've got some branches and whilst it's not that windy here but it is a bit of wind in the air it is blowing around those leaves so during the 30 seconds they'll end up being blurred so I've moved into 24 mil just to exclude those from the left and the right hand side of the frame and I think it will be a nice shot so we're going to experiment today we're going to explore new ground and let's see what type of images I can get. The sun went in behind some clouds now, so it actually gave me some nice flat light across the scene. And what I did is I changed the camera into portrait orientation. And by going into portrait orientation, then I'm definitely excluding the items that are here. But I notice I'm getting a small bit of reflection, actually, of one of the leaves on the bottom left hand side of the frame. But it also allows me to get more of those really dark and ominous clouds as well that you can kind of make out there on your screen. I think that, you know, by doing this long exposure, um, I'll get movement as well in the clouds. So the clouds are actually going from left to right. Now, I'm thinking what I might do actually is end up on the other side of the reservoir at the very end because I spotted a kind of a jetty, if you want to call it that, um, jutting out into the water on my way in. And I said I'd get it on the way back around. Now, there are a few people over there swimming at the moment, so I'm going to wait in here until they're done before I go over there. But yeah, when the light goes, it really creates a flat scene with those clouds as well. I think this will also be a nice shot. So I'm gonna continue on the path here now and see if I discover anything else uh, along this whole new area that I've never been to before. Just beyond now from where I was uh, up here a moment ago, when I came along the path, I spotted another little 
avenue down to the water side and i said i'd take a quick look and i'm glad that i did because what i spotted in the water is a branch and it has two arms of the branch that are coming out and they're kind of curving back in amongst themselves totally different totally unusual but i've taken a shot and actually now the sun is coming out so i just want to take a very quick photograph here so that i have that with some light on it but um what i've done is i've taken a shot um and focused on this and i've had to take a number of different shots actually to make sure that i get it sharp i don't need my um, big stopper anymore either because the sun was behind the clouds so it was quite flat light and at 30 seconds this was actually moving in the water and it was difficult for me to get it sharp so what i did was took off the uh, the big stopper and i just have my 0.9 nd grad on now and i'm going for a five second exposure um i'm at f11 and my iso actually i put it down to 50 just to give me that bit of flexibility so i'm not losing anything within the sky and the clouds as well are there are still continuing to be nice now what i end up doing actually with this is i'll take two different types of shots one i'll take as portrait and the other i'll take as landscape and i'll take a multitude of shots then as well with many different focus areas and i'll blend all those together then in post now i'm probably going to take around maybe six or eight of the same shot with different focus areas just to be sure that i get the whole thing sharp because with that movement that's there there is a risk actually of that becoming blurred because of the movement within that and also as well it's so close to the end of the camera i have to make sure that i'm focus stacking anyway so better to be safe than to be sorry but i actually do think i like uh, this image now now with the sun coming out as well i'm going to see if i can get a completely different type of shot maybe i'll give you a look actually at the one without the sun and then the one with the sun and let me know what you think in the comments As I was walking along now to come back over to probably my last spot to take a shot, I noticed the beautiful light in the distance. The sun broke through some clouds and they were lighting up the fields. And I think I just got the tail end of it. But as I'm speaking right now, again, the sun is coming out. So I'm going to try and grab that shot while I can because I actually think it's a lovely photograph with some trees that are there. You've got the mountains in the background as well. Now I'm just putting my camera on high speed continuous. And I'm shooting at a very, very fast shutter speed because there's some birds that are flying around as well. And I want to be able to try and capture those as well, if I can, within the shot. But as it is right now, half of the field is being lit up. And a moment ago, the entire field, and I think it's a crop that's just been cut. So there's a great contrast as well there. It's a nice bright yellow versus the green of the trees that are running through the center of it. And again now, the sun is coming out. I think it's breaking from this cloud. So I think I'm going to be able to get a shot actually of this here. Maybe not as vibrant as it was, but it might actually still work if I can get that shot uh, with the light on it. But yeah, I'll continue here anyway. Nice bit of a unexpected surprise to be able to hopefully get a nice shot there in the distance because I had to scramble to change my lens and put on my long lens. And then of course I had to change all my settings as well because I had them for my long exposures over. But yeah, here we go. Sun actually now is coming back up again through the field. So yeah, I'm gonna take this here and um, yeah, Draw me back when I get to the final spot in a moment.
come now to my final part of today and it's this jetty that I mentioned earlier on and I put back on my uh, 10 stop now and I'm going for a long exposure. The interesting thing actually about here is the, con the way that the wind is actually blowing it seems to be blowing towards me so I might get some nice movement within the clouds and I'm at 30 seconds at the moment here and I probably do need to go a bit longer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into bulb mode and I'm probably going to bring it up to around about a 45 second exposure. I'm going to put my F at F16. My ISO is going to put that down to 100. That means actually probably can get around about a minute. So I'll use this here and touch my screen. And I've got a built-in uh, intervalometer within the USR, so I don't need a trigger release or anything like that. And I can actually see a countdown or a count up timer as well, which is quite handy. I think this will be a lovely shot, particularly with the clouds moving towards me and then the smoothness of the water and then the fixed element being the jetty. But yeah, I'll uh, let this one cook here and I'll check back in a moment and we'll see how this one turns out. Just reviewing the shots there now on the back of the camera and I got up as far as a two and a half minute exposure. Now the sun is behind clouds so it is quite flat. I've got my 10 stop on, I've got my 0.9 ND grad and I also have my polarizer on. So it's taken me a long time to be able to capture enough light within the uh, sensor. But what it is doing is completely flattening out the water and those clouds actually they're not coming towards me but they're coming from the right hand side of the frame and I'm actually framing it up as well with this jetty coming on the right hand side of the frame also. Now on the other side of the jetty I was thinking okay should I go there and get it something which is lit by the sun however there's some uh, shrubbery that's there so that's not going to be nice because that's going to move obviously within the exposure time. It's uh, certainly an unexpected surprise to find this spot I hope I got some nice images anyway. I haven't seen them yet, but they look nice on the back of the camera. And this one actually does look particularly nice. Now, I'm going to go for a three minute exposure as well, just to finish it off here, just be able to see, can I push it to that little bit extra? So it gets a bit more brightness, I suppose, within the actual image as well itself. I want it to bring up the shadows as much, let's just say. But I do run the risk of losing the highlights. Um, I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very, very much, as always, for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this adventure in this reservoir with me today. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall.